Face is, um... Okay, sends one. Lovely, bro. Can you get the assist? Wanna know where to get the best possible cheap, reliable coins at your fingertips? What do you think? Whoa. Very nice. Look at that. Look no further than MMOEXP. Link is down below. Top of the description. Use code META for 5% off. Boom, ladies and gentlemen, Frankie de Jong out right now. Now, obviously, EA, for some reason, have added this promo to come earlier um, than usual. Usually, it's around 7 o'clock UK time. But we do have the main man, de Jong. We're going to check his stats. Very nice card design, might I add. Tell me if you're going to do this card. But yeah, as you can see, this card looks amazing right there, man. It's just the type of CM that I love. It's a good box-to-box -box slash defensive CM. He's got high medium. So for the attacking work rates, it's amazing when it comes to the box-to-box -box aspects. Get him in your team, in my opinion, man. He doesn't look actually that bad value. Currently coming in at about 300 odd K. Uh, as you can see, his play styles are currently Travela Plus, which can be a little bit of a dub if you're playing him on that RCM uh, slot. So if you want to do the Trivela shot, he has finesse shot as well. So attackively, it's looking nice as well. Long ball pass, Tiki Tock of Flare, and obviously press proven. This card can upgrade as well, dependent on Barcelona winning games. He can go to a 90 rated card, bro, if not more. But yeah, overall though, if you're looking at the actual stats, um, he's got amazing, amazing pace, but you want to at least boost him. Uh, do you know what I mean? He has four star, four star, amazing agility right there. So in my opinion, it's either between the engine cam style or the defend uh, or you want to boost the defending get the shadow cam style because you want to use him as a defensive player as well more so than a attack of one do you know what i mean you want to have a uh, better uh, physical slash defensive stats overall so in my opinion i think the shadow cam style is the perfect play for him and we're going to slot him in the team as i said the shadow cam style is the perfect cam style for him to boost that defensive stats this is the team mind the goalkeeper i'm just trying to get uh, obviously frankie de jong on full cam we will uh we'll show you the exact cast custom tactics i'm using it's just going to be the standard 4 3 2 one i mean i've got marquiso de jong and bellingham that is possibly the best trio partnership when it comes to cms one of at least but yeah let's test them out see how they do uh, and yeah, overall, let's jump in. You guys also got Frankie de Jong, so we can uh, obviously see how he plays uh, from my perspective and obviously versing him. So yeah, overall though, I do like this Frankie de Jong because he's got the um, the body type of unique. So he's going to feel very, very slick on the ball. And him being 5'11", it's not obviously the shortest. Bruh. I am 5'11", love to see it, almost 6' though. <laughs> but yeah, uh, it's not the uh, the worst though. It's not the worst when it comes to height and overall physical you know, when it comes to a CM. Like, he can definitely shrug players off the ball, is what I'm trying to say. As he gets the ball already, the very first thing right there. Just his overall pace. I mean, Frankie De Jong has just always been a meta CM, do you know what I mean? As you can see, Frankie De Jong is very aggressive at that RCM spot. I mean, it's literally what you need. Especially if you need him as offensive CM, he's gonna be up there because of the uh, high attacking work rates. Let's test his overall dribbling, though. Seems to do well. Oh my days. Okay, I love it. I love it. Step over and we try to green time, but the, the, the gameplay is a little bit heavy, but that was a very nice transitional run. That is what you need from a CM, man. Unlucky on the goal right there. For some reason, I just cannot verse Harry Kane in this game. It just seems absolutely OP. But yeah, Inception was so right about playing um, champs, especially um, in the midday. Uh, do you know what I mean in the afternoon because everybody's on especially now with the content being released the gameplay is so heavy bro You can't move your players. The only time where you're actually gonna get good gameplay is During the end uh, of the night when not a lot of people are on do you know what I mean because right now? I'm trying to run with Frankie. He's doing really well Right We send him and he gets the goal. That's just the type of things you want to you want to do with the CM Do you know what I mean? Very nice card. He feels so slick as well. Young Ming Sun doing what Young Ming Sun does, ladies and gentlemen. The best card out of every SPC. I don't care what anyone says, man. Now, what I like about Frankie De Jong is his overall passing uh, playstyles, along with his actual, like, you know, that Tiki Taka playstyle. I feel like it's just amazing when it comes to direct passing and the incisive pass, as well as, like, the offensive playstyles. Like, this man has finesse shot, bro. Not obviously the, the best one, but... Oh, oh, lucky. Check how he does transitionally. If that's even a word. Oh my days. Look at that pace, man. Look at that pace. And he gets the ball right there. As you can see, coming all the way from a, a attack, coming back. 
gets the ball, let's do his RB dribbling, and it feels so smooth, bro. Especially with how heavy gameplay is. Lovely right there against Rapinoe. I don't know if she's the quickest, but how is that a foul? What? Now, I guess the main thing you can say is Frankie de Jong better than this uh, play of the month Bellingham. Now, I've used him a couple of games, will not lie. Don't really see the difference in his normal gold or in form uh, as we have an attack unlucky. Uh, I feel like Frankie de Jong, though, with more upgrades will definitely be, in my opinion, better than the, that uh, Bellingham straight up, man. Speaking of him, amazing pass right there from the uh, Young. We'll do one more. Can we run with our other CM from the other side? Oh, unlucky. So far, I'm liking what I'm seeing right there, man, from the Young. A very, very nice, solid transitional CM. Exactly what I've needed uh, right there. And especially if you don't really need that much attacking aspects uh, from him. But I feel like he does have that. Do you know what I mean? Uh, obviously, it's always nice to have a RCM that is very attacking, like Messi or Griezmann at this 4-3-2-1 formation. But De Jong, with having the finesse shot plus, uh, no, sorry, not plus, the finesse shot, and obviously other attacking instincts, I feel like it is very, very nice from a CM. As you can see, very aggressive right there with that run. Salah does brilliantly. We'll see De Jong's passing now, now in an instance. Very nice pass. We still get to it. Can we score? Oh, I think that's offside. Is it offside? It is not offside. Let's go, man. <laughs> De Jong starting that whole attack, as you can see. The through ball wasn't the greatest option, but it was still, you know, it still worked with De Jong. That's just how great his passing is. Okay, we've triggered the run. Let's see what he does. Let's see his pace. Tries to get to the ball unlucky. That ball was very, very shocking from Bellingham. I'm not sure. Oh, no ways he was in the box right there man but how did he get that touch so bad like i easily should have just trapped it and then finessed but for some reason done a weird animation in the box right there. i'm not sure frankie de jong was making that run though he is very very aggressive in that attacking um rcm spot man especially if you do like um tact sorry instructions on him brilliant brilliant like execution of a, of a cm Let's see if he outpaces, um, okay, sends one, lovely bro, can he get the assist, he can, now that Perfect. is what makes a phenomenal meta CM in my opinion, someone that can do so great in defense and so good in attack, in my personal opinion, the best box box right now man, very nice card bro. I mean, look how he's turning against me as well, um, from uh, that guy's perspective, like oh my days bro. Making another run. What is this card, bro? Can he score that? Oh, and he's uh, obviously Travela Plus coming in to account right there with that shot, but just didn't get the execution. No power on that shot. Very nice step over boost. Okay, I love it, man. I absolutely love it. Good flip and cross, bro. What a card. Oh my days. Did you see that cross? Exquisite, exquisite passing, man. What a card. The number one thing I love about when I do player reviews is when I use a card and I don't have to force it. You know what I mean? I'm not forcing it at all with De Jong. And that for me is a clear indication of how good and meta card is. Especially in champs, bro, when the gameplay is heavy. Like, man is doing wonders, bro. We are on the break. I think we are. I'm going to finish this near post. Let's go, baby. Always works, man. And just like that, he's gone. There we have it, ladies and gentlemen. De Jong, very nice card design, might I add. Very nice card in-game as well. One goal, two assists. He actually won us that game. More than lie. He actually won us that game in terms of just the way he transitioned, the way he uh, showed his physicality, the assists he gave. Very nice card design. Not gonna lie, one more time. That looks like a team of the year. Do you know what I mean? Four star, four star, high, medium, mostly explosive. Get that shadow cam style on him. And you got yourself one of the best box-to-box -box CMs in the whole game, in my personal opinion, man. I'd actually deem him probably above bellingham in my personal opinion man especially with the upgrades he's gonna get he's definitely gonna be a solid solid card depending on how barcelona play in my opinion currently coming at about 300 to 320k in terms of value i'd rate this card an easy 9.5 because you're not gonna get cards like this bro do you know what i mean for that price especially if you can do him with fodder and get his card down to 200k underneath as well very nice card and then overall card probably a 9.7 bro with more upgrades that card is probably gonna be a 10 I know a lot of people are going to do it, but yeah, hit that like, subscribe, and we'll catch you boys in the next video, man. Have a sweet weekend, ladies and gentlemen. Peace.